the uncle of all these things he never seen. He showed you and told you a lot. Now I like boss you. And Thank you. 
Lord say, Girl, we couldn't give you what you want. I knew exactly what he was talking about. Because that was Deacon Coney's And when he was singing this song, we all, I can remember, looking at him. And we couldn't remember if it was the book, the ink, or the So we would go with the flow, and every Sunday would be a different sequence. So I don't even know if that was the right one to take. But Derek, I know that's what you wanted. I sat there and God put it in my spirit. I said, just let it be of your will and not of mine. Praise be to God. To this beautiful family, I ask that you bear with me. All of my life, this deacon, and that deacon is, has played a very important part. My sister Sandy and I got a running joke. She was deacon Coleman's, and I was deacon as um, Coleman. I used to tell Gary, you know, they had another sister. When we were coming up. So it's an honor, a privilege, a blessing to stand before you today. We're all here today because of our lives have been touched by Deacon Cole. I heard many of you say he was a good man. And that is a true statement. Man. The longer you knew him, the more you realized how remarkable of a man he was, how remarkable of a servant, how devoted to his family, his wife, oh my gosh, <laughs> when Corey became a deacon and I became a deaconess, we tried to emulate Sister Cohen and Deacon Cohen. And he turned the key over to Corey to walk up the church. And Corey said, Now, me, you can have me late. <laughs> Deacon Cohen. So one Sunday we got up, thinking we were doing something. We did nothing because when we got there, we were there. Deacon Cohen had the church all over. He was loyal to his church family. How thankful to God. And how available he was to literally anyone and everyone who needed his help. To the pastor of Lincoln Mary Baptist Church, Pastor Bowen, Pastor Guy, Pastor McConnell, any other pastors that may measure who may be here. I just ask that you bear with me to the deacons of Weeping Mary. Deacon Coleman will be next. He was a good man. So on today, when I looked out in the family, I see his towns. I saw some of his hats. You wear his pieces, but just don't wear them. When you dress up in them, think of your dad, the goodness of your dad. Dress up in the goodness of Jesus. Because when I look at Deacon Coleman, when I saw him Sunday after Sunday until his health declined and he could no longer come to week and marry. I saw a good man. Now, he was not Jesus, but in my sight, he wasn't for a prophet. So on today, we're going to take scripture from Romans 13, 8 through 10. Romans 13, 8 through 10. And it reads, Owe no man anything but to love one another. 
For he that loveth another can fulfill the law. For this thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, thou shalt not covet. And if there be any other commandment, it is strictly comprehended in this hand namely. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Love not in no ill to the neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. Love is who Deacon Cohen was. Amen. If I have to use for a text today, and I'm going to be obedient and do what Sister Cohen asked me to get out your way. She said she didn't want anything wrong. I'm going to get straight to the point and move out the way. If we could use for a text today, it would be, his debt is paid in full. His debt, think and hear the term debt. One thinks of money, finances, but when I hear this debt and think of Deacon Coleman, there's no debt that can be paid all by any man's money that can meet the, the debt of love of Deacon Abraham Cohen. See, due to our sin, you and I owe a huge debt that we do not have enough resources to pay the debt for our sin. But Christ yeah. has paid our debt for us. Yeah. Yeah. See, God loves us so much that he gave his only begotten son uh -huh. to pay the debt for our sin. Amen. In him, we have redemption through his blood. Yeah, the blood of Jesus removes the debt of those who will place their faith and trust in Jesus. Amen. You can't tell me with a shadow of a doubt, Deacon Coleman did not trust in Jesus. Amen. Amen. Even going through his time of not feeling well, yeah. there were days that I would see him come into church and you can say, How are you doing? And he just humble himself, I'm alright. But you knew he didn't feel well. Well. Because he trusted in Jesus. Uh-huh. Because of the love and sacrifice that he gave to others because Jesus was in the midst of him. He was an amazing man. Yeah. In Romans chapter 13 tells us, let no debt remain outstanding except the continuing debt to love one another. All right, all right. But he who loves his fellow man has fulfilled the law. All right. See, when you met up with Deacon Cohen, you met a humble smile, Few words, but a big heart. He paid off his debt by doing right by mankind. As Christians and church folk, because everybody is not a Christian, we should present our body as a living and holy sacrifice to God. He had a debt of love, family. That he did not mind sharing. Amen. Many of us show our love through words. But I'm here to tell you from a little girl, a little girl, I watched Deacon Cohen up into his health decline, pay debts through action and in truth. Amen. I'm so glad on this day I've had the opportunity. To meet Deacon Cohen. Yes, oh, yeah. He had that debt, yes, that debt of charity, yes, uh -huh. that he did not mind lending somebody else. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. He had that debt, that debt of love, yeah, yeah. that he showed so wholeheartedly uh -huh. to his family and their beautiful wife. Oh, oh, oh. He had that death of forgiveness. Yeah, yeah. If anybody ever offended him, 
Y'all just do what he was saying. When you know right, do right. God is good all the time. God is good. We're going to turn it back to him.
Set this memorial plaque to you. Well, that each and one of you see and observe this plaque, and this memorial plaque will read there are many things in life. There are many things in life that we cannot understand, but we must trust in God's judgment and be guided by His hand. And all who have God's blessing can rest safely in His care. But He comes to the same passage on the wings faith and prayer, which is sincere sympathy to King's Funeral Home. Small words and thank you for entrusting this service to the King's Funeral Home, Mr. Hopper, for reading. It also reads, Mr. Abraham Coleman, March the 10th, 1937, August 21st, 2020. We'd like to present this memorial plaque to the family. The wife, Mrs. Gladys Coleman, will be receiving it. God bless you, Mr. Coleman, and the entire family. My friends, uh, this concludes the service for Deacon Abraham Coleman on behalf of the family. We thank the Pastor Moore for being here in that service. So I knew this was an hour to come together. And my service ministry, Brother Carl, Pastor Don, and to all of you, the many friends who have shared with the family this hour of bereavement. The final intern for Deacon Abraham Coleman will follow just the Lord of God. to stand on the shore and watch Zion's ships go sailing over. Damn. I stood on the banks of Jordan. Oh, yeah.
red van on the banks of Jordan and Thank you. 